the Game Boy. I loved playing this as a kid. As an adult, I love it even more. More than the NES and Super NES combined. Nintendo's portable incarnation was a brilliant innovation. But for me, the games are where it's at. Just looking at the cover art makes a six-year-old in me jump up in joy. Every time the Switch flips on, it's like reliving the best moments of my childhood all over again. I can still remember the games I played. Tetris, Super Mario Land, Ninja Turtles, DuckTales, and this little fella. Amazing Penguin paints itself as an action puzzler. In a world of MMORPGs and first-person shooters, it's a genre that's nearly a forgotten art today. Whether it's a quick sit-down to pass the time, or eager to overcome challenging puzzles, the game has you hooked from start to finish. Its easy-to-pick-up-controls and skill-testing difficulty, plus Natsumi's keen eye for details, makes Amazing Penguin picture-perfect. Yes, I know it looks strikingly similar to a famous Maze Munchers, Luckily, the programmers at Natsumi decided to add a few twists to Namco's formula. For instance, instead of power pellet, our adorable penguin hero can kick bombs in a certain direction, or liberating sections to fling adjacent enemies off-screen. The most observant player will know all monsters follow a deliberate pattern and can use this to their advantage by pressing the white switches to avoid danger. Don't get cocky, or you might paint yourself into a corner and start all over again. The game's biggest strength lies in its incremental difficulty. Natsumi paid great attention to how to raise the bar for each level, and it paid off. Sure, it may seem all you're doing is busting balls for the first 7 levels or so. Trust me when I say, Amazing Penguin will have you going from ball busting to ball busted in no time. The game relentlessly throws curveballs your way. The more you progress, the bigger the levels get, the more enemies you face, and the more elaborate puzzles become, all under a time limit, so there's not a second to waste. It will continually throw you off pace and force you to plan ahead, make split second decisions, time your movements, and escape by the skin of your beak, essentially rewarding players able to think on their feet. Like any puzzler, it's overwhelming but fair. When I played this as a kid, it was nearly impossible for me to beat until I was an adult. Though finishing a game you started as a child feels so satisfying. Actually, the best part of Amazing Penguin are the picture puzzles, like unwrapping a Christmas present to discover the gift inside. Granted, our Penguin is an artist, it fits into the theme perfectly, and makes it such a rewarding experience. Da Vinci it's not, but remember, the game was released in 1990, the same year as the Game Boy, and not to be did a flawless job showcasing what Yoko Gumpy's creation was capable of. Ditto for the music, the happy melodies go hand in hand with Amazing Penguin's abundant cuteness, and changing it up every four levels just adds more to look forward to, alongside the cheesy cutscenes. That's what makes this little guy so great! Playing the game is rewarding in itself, a definite sign of an excellent game. I cannot recommend it enough! With DSi in full swing, I love to see Nintendo bring back the old classics, and see this little guy right out the gate. It's got something for all ages. Impressive graphics, fun levels, long winding puzzles, laughable cutscenes, and a memorable hero. It defines amazing.